what is up guys Shreds iPod help here with a new video and in this video I am going to be showing you how to jailbreak with the new snow breeze and it has come out now this has been like a hugely anticipated kind of opponent tool for the PC so pretty much if you know what opponent tool is it allows you to build custom firmwares and put whatever you want into that firmware and a jailbroken firmware and then update in iTunes and then you have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod. Now this is really simple. All you gotta do is go into the IHateSnow.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description or something. And all you have to do is download Snowbreeze. Just click download. Real simple, real easy. And then download your firmware. I'll give you the link to FelixBurns.com, which lets you browse through your firmware, whether it be iPod, second gen. 1st gen, 3rd gen, iPhone, you know the deal. And anyway, once you have um, it downloaded, it should come in like a little um, RAR file. You can just extract it using WinRAR, which you can search in Google and download. Real simple. And you'll get the um, Snowbreeze 3.1.2.exe. Now, before we even start, Snowbreeze is kind of made, mostly made, and Pwnage Tool, the kind of, they're kind of the same thing. They're made for um, iPhones that... Um, that are unlocked and the, the people that unlock them depend on the unlock to keep their cell phone service and what Snowbreeze does is it allows you to update your iPhone to a newer firmware without losing your unlock but it can be used for anything it's really really cool and I'm it can be used for your iPods whatever it's really, really cool and let's just get into it now you don't have to buy this which is cool so pretty much what they put this up for is if you bought it off something, not a real big deal. Anyway, so once you're here, just click the little next button. And we're going to go into expert mode because we're pretty expert if you've been watching videos and stuff of mine. And to do this, you also have to be jailbroken. You have to be jailbroken first to do this. So if you're not jailbroken, don't look at this video. I'll have a link in, in the description to my other videos. This is just an alternative jailbreak that you guys can use and um, IPSW selection you're gonna have to click, click browse and you're gonna have to find the PSW that you downloaded so mine was on desktop let's find it here there it is it'll process it for a bit I'm not sure how long this will take but uh, we'll stick it out um, I, I don't know if you guys have heard but the new um, Apple event next Wednesday seems to be pretty cool um, they're not sure but it's a huge rumor it's probably gonna happen 99% sure that um, the Apple tablets gonna come out which is cool and maybe in 4.0 um, software for the iPhone and iPod touch so when this comes up to say I understand it'll come up with your um, what device you have and that's cool make sure your iPod is plugged in actually no it doesn't have to be plugged in I lied but if it is plugged in that's good click next and now we're gonna click um, general. Actually, no. If you go into installers, general. Actually, let's go in general. Click next. Um, so pretty much in the general tab, there is uh, IPSW NOR only. And what is NOR? Well, pretty much is it makes it flashes. If you don't know what flashing means, don't worry, I'll explain it. But it flashes the firmware, like so it adds a little bit of things into it so that when you update to that firmware, you don't lose any of your jailbroken stuff pretty much. Usually only you would you would only click this if you wanted to upgrade to a new boot logo. And I'll be showing you um, how the boot logo thing works in a little minute or so. Also it says add Snowbreeze iPhone app. That's pretty cool. It's like a little app that you'll get after you restored and it pretty much just shows you you know about Snowbreeze and all that stuff now for the root partition size I usually like to set it around 2 gigs so right around here see if I can get it, oh that's close enough and yeah so pretty much here if you want to add the Snowbreeze app and read about it click that if you just want to change boot logos click on the make IPSW no only but we're not going to do that now click next now pretty much here you can select your installers, whether it be City or Rock. I like Cydia and I like to install my installers anyway, one at a time, so I'll just keep it at Cydia for now. Click Next. 
Now here, you can add packages and things. So um, you can go in and add your packages even before you go in Cydia, but I think I'll just add my packages in Cydia after. So I'll click next. But this is pretty cool. Oh, this is the best part right here. Look at this. You can choose your own boot logos. So you can actually hit browse, and you can actually go to any website and find a boot logo and put it right in there. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep it at their custom boot logos. So you have a little boot logo here, which is really cool. And you can also have your recovery boot logo. So like when you plug in iTunes and weird stuff like that. And um, yeah, and verbose mode, this little thing in the corner right here. If you enable that, pretty much all it does is it shows you like all the code it uses to um, start up at the beginning of your iPhone. Pretty cool. Um, or iPod, you know, whatever. Uh, it's just kind of instead of the boot logo, you get all this code and it looks kind of cool, I guess. But I'd rather have the boot logo. So we'll go ahead and click next. And you're done. You can also go into unlocks. Let's say you're for an iPhone, but obviously I'm using an iPod Touch, so I cannot do this. And yeah, so pretty much we just went into installers, picked our installers. We went into custom packages. I didn't want to add custom packages. And our custom boot logos we kept at normal, pretty much. And if you were an iPhone, you can go into unlocks and unlock it for any carrier. So now we're going to click Build IPSW and click Next. And now all we're going to do is click Start and it will build you your own IPSW. Now I'm going to come back when this is finished. Alright guys, and pretty much after it's done, we're going to restore it to this um, custom IPSW in iTunes and you're done. So be right back. Hey guys, I am back and the firmware has just finished being created. So pretty much after it's created, it will tell you to connect your iPod Touch or your iPhone, whatever you have chosen to jailbreak with. It'll tell you to enter recovery mode, and after that, launch iTunes and hold down the shift while clicking the restore button in iTunes. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so pretty much what you're going to want to do is go to iTunes. Real simple. And if you haven't already, you're going to have to put your iPod into recovery mode. So if yours is plugged in like mine, just unplug it really simple then you're gonna wanna hold down the power button hmm, almost got here hold it down until it tells you slide the power off slide the power off wait till the power's off and all you're gonna wanna do is hold down the home button and plug your iPod in and that's what I've just done and just keep holding it in until you see the connect to iTunes sign now, once that happens, it'll come up like this. All you're going to want to do is shift, hold down the shift button, and click restore. And then you're going to want to find the custom firmware that Snowbreeze has created. And it's saved right to the desktop, so here it is, Snowbreeze underscore iPod Touch 2G IPSW. Click on it, and it will start extracting your firmware. It'll start loading all the stuff that you made in Snowbreeze onto it. And when I come back, I will have a jailbreaking iPod Touch 2G using a sort of its pwnage tool on Windows. Really cool. See you in a minute. All right, so my iPod has just finished um, extracting and loading on the firmware. And it is totally awesome. Now, I wish I could show it to you guys right now in a video, but I can't because I don't have my camera on me. But, um, yeah, so it after it's done, pretty much it'll reboot. Um, you'll, it'll reboot with the custom logo, and you should have Cydia or Rock if you added Rock or just Rock if you added Rock, you know. Whatever you did, you should have it all. It should be jailbroken, and you can just start adding all the stuff from Cydia that you want to add. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe. That would be super duper, and yes, um, subscribe. Please subscribe. Got 330 subscribers. Awesome. See you in the next video. Shout out to iPod Help. Out.